You probably don't want to see or hear this. <laughs> hey guys, so it's 11 o'clock right now, and Charles is still asleep, so we're gonna go in the room and wake him up. <sighs> Hi, good morning. <laughs> I just want to do my part and do some vlogs so you don't have to vlog as much this morning. <laughs> okay, go back to bed. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Zoe, let's go. Zoe, come on, let's go. Come on, Zoe. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, little farter. Zoe's been farting all morning. And Allie, I don't know, maybe it was Allie. And then <laughs> <laughs> Allie's yeah, editing a video right now. Yeah, so on. these guys working non-stop for you guys. Just wanted to let you know. She's drinking her second cup of coffee. And my time is smug. Oh, she is very kind. She oh, made me you. breakfast, she made me coffee, and now we're gonna edit videos. And thank you for letting me stay here. I love you guys. What's going What's going on, on guys? Hey internet, what's crack lacking? It's a beautiful Friday afternoon, the sun is shining, and your weekend's about to start. Kids are out of school, summer's about to begin. About to Wait, start. are kids out of school? Wow. I don't think they are. Yeah, uh, well the first day of summer is the 28th. We finally got photos of the new hats that are going to be available first at VidCon and then at ctfxemerch.com. I no longer have to wear our rough draft. So I'm going to show you the brand new hats. These will be available at the DFTBA booth at VidCon first. Here's one. Here's the other one. Here's the other one. And there's the other one. So all four of those will be limited supply at VidCon. And then we'll bring them home and we'll have... Oh, by the way, there's going to be a poster there as well that's going to be at VidCon first. So if you're going to VidCon, go to the DFTBA booth. You guys can get all these first dib things and then we'll bring them on to the CTFXE merch but we wanted to kind of do something special for VidCon because we always say we're gonna do it and we never get around to it but we actually did it so the new hats are done and they're being shipped anytime I see somebody selling Chicago hot dogs he has to get gotta them. get them Chicago dogs are the best hot dogs in the world it's the celery salt and maybe the, the little peppers I don't know what the pepper is called but it is true and you know I always think hot dogs taste better for you from like, like a hot dog stand. Hot dog stands are the best. What is the one thing that's blasphemous in putting on a Chicago hot dog? Ketchup. Yep. You passed the test. You know how I know that? Because I don't really like ketchup. <laughs> so I've decided to take a uh, char to a bookstore that I used to go to all the time when I was younger. Right around my, actually right around the corner from my old house. And it's called Wilson's Bookstore, but I'm very excited it about it. like a museum? No, it's just a bookstore, you no, dumb I mean, like, dumb. It does feel like a museum. You know what's actually kind of crazy? Every book in here could fit on my iPhone, but it doesn't have the smell. No, it smells so I wonder if it, eventually one generation physical books will just not exist anymore. I don't know if that's actually gonna ever happen. Wait, what about those, uh, what are they called, Harlequin, the fun thing? The ones that have all the, the ripped dudes and then the girls going like this, like. Oh, I know, they're so silly. What are those called, Harlequin novels? I think it was Fabio on like every cover. Oh dear. Try to find some Simpsons ones, like Shelly got me. Let's see. Well, I don't know, this looks like kind of a sleepwalker. Did you ever read that? No. Were you a comic book nerd? No, my brother was more. Like, I, I read every, every once in a while, I read a comic book. So you're you so were, unique. You're kind of a comic book nerd? I would say that I, I uh, dipped my toes in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Meep? Oh, because R2D2. I didn't know he had his own series. Yeah. Superman number one. I used to read X-Men all the time. Actually, I think I read that one before. I haven't been in a comic book store in a long... I don't know, I take that back. I went to one with... Who did I go with? Callie in Chicago. This is the stuff I loved about comic books, is the made-up words. Shrek. Pure Tor. Wait, is that? I don't even know if that... Just got lazy on that one. Snurk. It should be like, slick. There needs to be a skirt in there. Look at these old vlogging cameras. Haven't done this in a while, guys. It's kind of funny, ever since I got the approval to drive, and I've been doing that for how many, I don't know how many months now, I haven't actually driven the golf cart nearly as much as I used to. Obviously, when I couldn't drive, this was my vehicle, this was my car. Now, 
my car is my car. So it's kind of weird to drive in this thing, but I forgot how much fun it is. I keep trying to hit the turn signal, which does not exist on a golf cart. All right, guys, so I just wanted to talk, you know, let's talk about the future. I kind of feel like this is something that Ali and I have been wanting to talk about for a while, especially since the whole adpocalypse has been kind of hitting everyone on YouTube. I kind of wanted to address you know, like sponsors and things like that that are going around YouTube. A lot of YouTubers are now taking on more like sponsors on Instagram, on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all these things to kind of supplement what's going on with Adpocalypse. For those of you guys who don't know what Adpocalypse is, it's just a fun word on a very negative thing that has to do with YouTube right now. I actually have no idea why it's happening, but YouTube has now drastically changed the way AdSense, which by the way, if you have no idea, if you're kind of just a watcher of YouTube, AdSense is the tool that pays everyone on YouTube. All your favorite vloggers, even some of you guys, you guys all depend on AdSense. It's kind of a frustrating thing for everybody. I've talked to friends, I've talked to everyone I know on YouTube, and everyone, I don't wanna say is hurting, but everyone has seen a change when it comes to this situation on YouTube. And the reason why I bring this up is because, listen, I wanna talk about the future. And by future, I just mean the future of YouTube, the future of videos on the internet in general as a whole. I feel like like it's going to drastically change in the next probably year, maybe in the next couple months, maybe even weeks. I don't want to say days just because that'll be really scary and frustrating for everyone on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to fix my, my fake hair right now. I love how people think, hey, let me just make it look fake. There we go. That looks super fake now. <laughs> Let's just ignore that little segment. The reason why I want to bring this up is because I feel in the next, like I said, a couple couple years, weeks, months, YouTube as a whole is going to be changing for everybody, even possibly you guys. As we kind of go into this uncharted territory, you're going to see more YouTubers and more creators doing more sponsorships and you know more partnerships with other companies, which I feel is very important that everyone understands what's going on because with AdSense going down, your favorite YouTubers are going to need to supplement what's happening. As a community, it's something that we all need to kind of embrace. I, th I know that we've done sponsorships in the past and I realize that it can be kind of overwhelming. Yesterday we did something with Canon and honestly, I would have done that thing for free because you guys have been telling me and hoping that one day I would work with that company. But I have no idea, you guys have a better idea, probably the amount of money that I've spent on Canon cameras for the vlogs. But I'm not ignorant to the fact that I know sponsorships can kind of get overwhelming. My thing that I always wanna hold true is that I will do a sponsorship only if I really believe in it or if I use it myself. Obviously coming back to yesterday, I would've probably bought that camera no matter what and I would've show. How many, I mean, I've done it so many times where I bought cameras, I'd be like, hey guys, which quality looks better? I've done it for free, I've done it in the past. Just don't tell them. <laughs> I don't want it to seem like, you know, I'm hurting, you know, the vlogs are gonna go away or anything like that. This is just something that I kinda wanted to talk about the future of YouTube because I feel like it's incredibly important, especially for people like yourself who maybe want to start making videos. It's kind of important for YouTubers and creators, social media creators, Instagram, Twitter, like I said, Snapchat, all that stuff, to kind of find ways to supplement, to be able to make these videos, to be able to continue doing this, you know, watching videos for free, because unfortunately, the reality of the situation is everyone watches videos on YouTube for free, which is awesome. I think that's an amazing platform. But at the same time, your favorite creators have to pay bills. They have electric, they have the internet bills to pay for. So it's, it's kind of like one of these things where it's, in a perfect world, I would freaking live on an island, make videos for a living, somehow get internet, maybe for my arm tattoo. We're talking about a perfect world, guys. This is a community. This is why these videos, you know, kind of started. This is this is why I make videos, to have this conversation. And the reason why I'm making this video, or this segment of the video, is because I find it very important, and it's very crucial to talk about, because this is not just affecting me, this is affecting the entire website. And I know one of my close friends, Phil DeFranco, you guys, I'm sure, know him. He explains it probably way better than I am, but I just kinda wanted to speak my mind, and just kind of, the future is going to probably change on this platform that we call YouTube. Probably social media in general. And as scary as this is, trust me, I'm right in the middle of it. In the end, it could possibly be better for everybody. You, me, other creators on YouTube. It's just change, and every few years, social media changes. And this is just another evolution of the situation, and it's something that I feel like we all need to accept, and I know it's hard, and possibly even somewhat confusing and frustrating, but I feel it's important 
that we have this, this dialogue to each other. I will make this promise to you guys. I will never promote something that I don't like. I'm just, I will never sell out. Selling out is doing something for money that you don't care about. I guess all I'm trying to say, and I'll stop talking, is that I just hope that we evolve as a YouTube community, not just for me, like for everybody, that people are accepting and understanding about what's going on right now. Because if YouTubers and social media creators don't do this, your favorite YouTubers, your favorite creators will have to stop. It won't be a viable option. They won't be able to do this. I'm not saying that I'm hurting or doing anything like that, because I wanna make these videos, I wanna say forever, but you know, I wanna, these videos for a very long time. I feel like I'm in just the pinnacle of my life right now. Allie and I just got married. We want to have kids eventually. That's a whole nother like step in my life and I want to be able to document that for us, for our future children, for you guys because you guys have a vested interest in these videos and our life because you've been following us for the longest time. So that's it. I just wanted to talk about that just because I wanted to talk about change in the future of internet videos and YouTube. Okay, I'll shut up now and I'll continue the videos. No more ranting. I feel like I've done that way too much in today's video, but I thought it was important. Right. Is that Melissa? Yeah, it's Melissa. Oh, hey. Hey, internet fam. My name's Al. I'm talking to my sister, Melissa. What's up? Peace out. High five. Tell her she smells. Yes. Happy it's birthday. Oh, hang on. Thank you. It's Meg. Meg. Ma'am. It's Meg. Ma oh, wait. Hang on. I still don't oh, know what that means. Now it's Meg. Yeah, okay, so this is new meal uncensored right here. It's ma'am uncensored, yeah, right? Ma'am uncensored. Ma'am uncensored. You probably don't want to see or hear this. <laughs> Happy birthday. Cheers. You're oh, old cheers. as shit. Ah, uh, you're older. Yeah. Surprise. How old am I? We actually couldn't figure this out. Am I a year older? You're a year and nine months. So it's to say almost, oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. a year older. Surprise mom yeah. and dad. We know what you were doing. <laughs> I know, you're like 21. I'm 25. <laughs> 26 in September. You are old as very mature. Very. You're yeah. a lot more mature than I am. Yes. That's a lie. Well. Yep, yep, you know, we're just gonna do I'm that. I'm the most mature. No. Right. These are the things that we come home to. Marley is just like putting her head into Zoe's mouth. Hang I'll on, see you tomorrow. Hand. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful night. We just Ubered home and we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call it a night. Uh, it was really nice to hang out with everybody to kind of celebrate Melissa's birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are brand new, please do not forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you liked today's video and. As always, you know with that we love you guys so much and we really appreciate you. I am going to try and get him to go to bed. This is like a new territory for me, so I uh yeah. Alright, good night everyone. <laughs>